Thanks for watching Digging Deep, where we're digging into a little bit of everything. Jack, Jack of, of all, all trades, trades, master of none. Yeah, dude. Always like that little that's like a little downhill action there but uh, we're back in the forest kind of in my backyard uh, good little quick place to come ride I do got Emmicksburg uh, and I, what do they call that Emmicksburg watershed or something I don't know uh, near my house uh, it's actually Rainbow Lake right there a uh, quick little uh, pretty rad place to ride too but, uh, I'm not gonna bore everybody with uphill. I'm actually uh, feeling a little funny today, not wearing the chest mount. I'm actually uh, wearing a full face helmet with the GoPro mount to the bottom of it. So uh, we're gonna give this footage a try today. So I adjusted my camera here. Hopefully, I'm getting a little bit better picture of the head of the bike. Uh, the footage look great. Um, yeah, you know, I, I just don't like when you can't see the bike too much. Um, and one thing I would say too with the, kind of like the helmet mount, at least with my setup is, you know, if you look down too far, your camera kind of hits your chest. But so far I'm kind of liking this. I feel like, you know, I don't have something like, I'm like carrying along my chest and, you know, with your breathing and uh, it's just kind of uncomfortable. It works, it's doable. And you, you know, have to have the uh, harness like extremely tight. And then as everybody knows, you turn the whole camera mount upside down to get that degree, perfect angle out. That perfect degree is what you can't get it the right way when it's flipped uh, on the traditional way of mounting the camera to the uh, chest mount. But uh, not going to bore you too much with this uphill. Say that every time I feel like. Um, but the last ride at the shed, I kept saying about my tires being soft. Well, or feeling soft. Yeah, long story short, we're going to get some access on here, but uh, I was running 8 PSI under. My foot bike pump, a uh, new one I got that does the press the valves. Uh, has a gauge on it. Well, the gauge is eight pounds off. <laughs> I knew something didn't feel right. I can just tell now, like right now. Um, I think I'm in 30 in the front and 32 in the rear. Uh, running tubes and these cheesy ass uh, stock Walmart tires at that, but uh, they feel a lot better already. But anyhow, getting ready to nail some uphill here. We'll get back in here. <laughs> so we're approaching the top. I think I got like a little noise. Almost sounds like a loose spoke or something. Especially when I stand up and bear down. I don't know, you can't much hear it now, but when I was hitting that uphill, I could hear it. So, this is the top on the one side of the road I ride. And uh, shared trails, horse trails, hiking, whatever. So when you get balling down these hills, kind of got to be mindful. So, uh, this is the top of the hill. It's real short into the forestry trail going up. And today I think we're going to go to the top of that where I uh, thought I allegedly uh, heard a bear, something in the weeds. And it came all the way down and it's a good fast run with some little kicker ramps. Okay, we're going to get downhill a little bit. Just start going down. Always remember this one log. We got some debris in the trail. Try to clean it up every time, but not today. Unless there's a big log. But we're gonna try and nail this log for the first time instead of like slowly going over it. We'll see how this goes. Always trying to up my game, guys. That's what it's all about, right? 
That will never get better. I'm trying to remember where this thing is. Starting to get the bunny hop down on this thing too a little bit. There she is. Ha <laughs> ha! That's how we hit it, dude. Woohoo! Logs in the trail. That's how we hit it. Used to go slow over that every time. Gotta remember that one there. I think the tower came up a little higher than I remember. I had to cut out a bunch through here, as you can see. Trees down. They keep up pretty decent maintenance on the trails. Any horses? No horses. Yeah, this trail's gonna go kind of fast. And uh, I think I'm getting a little better at it each and every time. I forgot to put my seat down, which is not so bad at these leveled out parts. Uh, that's part of the downhills coming up now. So, uh, saving my energy. The downhills up at this upper point here. I always forget. Ah, oh, look at that. All kinds of turds on the trail. Fresh. Might run into somebody. But yeah, uh, I always forget about this section of the trail where you have to climb again. I blow a lot of energy and it's like, oh man, that's right. But uh, I try to spare you guys the uphill. We'll jump back in here before we get down. Uh, as usual, give you guys a little view at the top. And we're gonna put our seat down. Uh, seat dropper post. Yeah, you know what it is, guys. It'll go on there eventually. But these uh, these tires gotta go. I can tell a world of difference now that they actually have the appropriate air pressure in them. Running APSI, I was like sponging, sponging out on all the rocks, and it's a soft tire as it is. So, like the buoyancy there for like, I guess the sidewall. It's just, yeah. I explain no more. It's just awful out in the rocks. But as you see, when I started the ride today. I came down down through there and they felt so much better. Alright, let's get it. <laughs> I forgot my seat was down. Felt like I was gonna go back on the tire. Let's go, dude. I wanna go up on this bank and eye some stuff up one day. Uh, it's a little more sketchy now the leaves are falling, I think. Because you know it's just you can't see the trail in the air is good. Woo! That's the biggest uh, send there. That's the second biggest. I'd probably get about, uh, I don't know, 10 to 12 feet. Probably a little further on the first one. And here is the uphill off of the DCNR access. It says no horses, but it uh, doesn't say bikes. So we're going to climb this and then we're going to ball ass down this whole hill. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, now I'm walking. We're about to get on. But on that stop there, uh, I wanted to say something, but the first thought in my head was, wow, what a difference in these brakes compared to the mechanical cable. Like I said before, it felt like I was riding up at the shed, hitting boundary line for my first time. There's some times I wanted to brake and it just felt like my bike did not want to stop. And, I mean, and you know, I was locking the back tire up but it felt like I was like literally gonna snap those cables. And with playing around with trying to learn manuals and wheelies, and just a little bit of tapping on the back brake, world of difference, gives you so much more confidence so you don't have to fear the flipping backwards so much. I just ran into some guys there. Still in the uphill battle, it's kind of a leveled out crossover on the hill. It's about to go uphill though. Uh-oh, up here was the mystery bear. A little spring coming out there. But I just passed two guys up here. Appear to be hunters. Uh, yeah, probably out scouting, I guess. Probably like, who the hell is this guy? All right, let's rip this up, Bill. So much different with the seat down. We're not putting it back up. And I do like to stand up. <laughs> I know a lot of the guys get those seats way up there and crank it. And I do. But I'm a 
I don't know, I'm a stand-up guy at times. Ah, get it? Still on the uphill. And I did stop and put the seat up. I keep going just a little bit higher and higher. So now this guy's has been pretty high. And right now it feels a world of difference. Like I could do it all day. But uh, I guess you're supposed to make sure your knees aren't coming above the waist. That's a good, uh, good level there. You don't want to go too high, I guess, so you can get off the bike. But yeah, we're uh, coming to where I thought I heard the barren weeds the one day. But again, we're gonna spare you all this boring uphill. So I have my seat at the highest I've ever had it. And wow, what a, what a difference. My post might be like, I don't know, 10, 11 inches up. I'm used to like, you know, going around like, I don't know, seven or eight inches where I have this mark on the seat post. But man, went up just a little higher. What a difference. Ah, hashtag need that dropper post. <laughs> Notice no fuel wood cutting. Interesting how the verbiage is sometimes. So we should be getting to a leveled out spot up here. And last time I was here, well, it's obviously been logged out. Last time I was here, it was very beautiful up here. Uh, I would love to bring the family, but it would be a little grueling getting them up here on bikes. Probably a good hike. Uh, they're just, you know, other than my boy, not real big bikers. Now my daughter, she'd probably make it up here. Uh, and I, I guess I shouldn't alleviate the life, but what I'm trying to say is, you know, it would wear the novice rider that's out of shape out. So, Rachel, not to cut you down, <laughs> when trying to. And look at this, look how logged out all this is and open and very scenic and beautiful. There's a higher hill ridge right here, as you can see. Go. Ah, I had to like literally yell at my GoPro uh, three or four times. <laughs> the only thing about this helmet mount is, uh, you know, you, if you want to view your footage, or you can just turn like the chest mount up and start pulling with it. But and seeing what's going on with this, you really don't know unless you get the app going on your phone. And I got the GoPro Hero 5 black and it does the job, but it's time for an upgrade. Uh, obviously, I'm not made of money, but I am trying to help make this channel grow and get some better equipment, external mic and all that, eventually. And uh, I even looked into the, uh, uh, oh crap, brain part. Uh, the three axis gimbals, I'm sorry. Totally went blank there. And to help fresh trails, somebody might be up here. Somebody was in the past 24 hours, I'll tell you that. But uh, yeah, so slowly going to upgrade so we can get some better all, uh, audio and video at the same time, most importantly. So, yeah, we're almost done the uphill. So up here, I mentioned about it in the bear attack video. This is a cross about 10 foot in the tree. It's just uh, obviously something probably happened. Um, May, makes you wonder what like was it a hunting spot you know doesn't I mean that's the only thing that will logically make sense for me for a cross to be in a tree like that and out here in the middle of the forest but hopefully this camera angle is good and uh, it wasn't a complete waste of a day getting footage there'll never be a waste of a day getting out here riding that's for sure so I'm almost sure I didn't make it this far last time. But you know, curiosities, and I got the better of me right now. And I'm seeing some signage up here. It appears to be private. We'll get up here and get a look and probably be turning around uh, upon checking this signage out. But uh, let's see what it says. Okay. It's interesting because I thought it went clean through, but it says private property, no trespassing.
It always feels really weird when you drop the buzz for the first time. All right, we got about 100 yards before I can start getting some speed here. Oh wow, I better get her down in gear, her up in gear. Depends on which way you're thinking about it. Again, I hope all this footage is coming out. Uh, when we get down through here, there should be uh, a couple little jumps. It always scares me a little bit because there's some big rocks. And it's like, man, I'm going to come down already on one. But you know what? Let's just get it. <laughs> kind of leveled out through here a little bit. Did I say what a difference? Having the right tire pressure? Jeez. All right. Oh, yeah, these magnificent tires, they tend to wash out on you a little bit. You ain't careful. Yeah, these leaves, they're a little slick. I love the difference in these brakes. <laughs> What a difference. I'm going to have so much more confidence in the turns when I get these. Uh, I think the Max is PHR2. It's something I could afford. I know the tire's been around for a while. Uh, it's not a little cheaper too, so that's why I want that route. Oh yeah. End up in the woods. Careful. <laughs> Yeah, right. Yeah, even if the correct tire pressure needs, it's still like, you can tell the tire just skips around really easy. We're gonna take this side. My puddle. Might even catch our guys up here. Hard to say. Back over. I can say I've been training for a, a 5k race for my cousin. She had died of breast cancer. I've uh, been doing it for years. Uh, I am a little whooped. I'm training for that race and I just went riding at the shed the uh, day before yesterday and uh, I still feel it. And not to mention the whole carpal tunnel thing that I've uh, been dealing with. Kind of makes my hands get numb. I have to ride in a little while. Definitely feel like I'm hitting them a little bit soft, but uh, my hands are falling asleep a little bit. It does make it hard. Kind of suck. And this is the bottom of the trail. I'm gonna drop this in there. People probably think, what the heck's he doing on this side of the road? I grew up doing this. Legally, I know I'm supposed to be on the other side, but I want to see what's coming at me. I'll get off the road. I want to see what's coming at me. So that's why I ride on the side of the road. Our wood. So this is the uphill where we're going to start. We're going to take five or here in the parking lot, and we're going to get up here and run this side. All right. I didn't even really get off my bike or anything. The only thing I did here is adjust my camera down just ever so slightly and once I find that sweet spot I already did hit it with a sharpie and a knife mark but once I hit that sweet spot I'm gonna make it like a known mark that way I can check it now I'm getting a proper angle I'm trying to achieve here all right we got some uphill battle let's get it windy as hell out here today <coughs> Uh, luggage I just stopped there to kind of review my footage a little bit and uh, everything looked good I did bump it down a little bit back there at the parking lot coming up on the side of the road and I think I'm getting a little bit better view of the front of the bike because as I said I like I mean, you can kind of see the front of the bike and ahead of the trail so hopefully that works out <clears throat> yeah some muddiness here Lovely tires. I'll just shred through it. 
I'm kidding. I don't want new tires at all. So I believe we're at the top. So this is like a small fraction of the side of the mountain I can hit on these trails. And go all the way to the top on one end and ride it all the way down. And it'll be a much longer ride. I want to do that in the future. I want to hook up with somebody, one of my buddies, and do that ride and we'll kind of shuttle it and maybe rip it a couple times. And uh, just got to the top, had to relieve myself. I'm getting ready to take off here. Definitely a little bit muddy up here. See, right there is where I would come in if I ran the whole mountainside. And then we got some walnuts on the trail. Reminds me of my house. Uh-oh. We ain't bunny hopping that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it could be done. Without a doubt. See that for next time, huh? That's what we call raising a bar. If it's still here, same we'll do that. And I forgot to drop my seat. Hashtag need a dropper post. Yeah, got the seat down. Ready for the downhill. All right. I mentioned I'm going to some more luggage. I just want to say luggage. Luggage on the trail. It's kind of weird when you know it's shared trails because kind of looking for a horse just to pop up on it. Straight up buck my ass. That's kind of leveled out up here. It's okay, we'll take take a little break. We'll get back in. It's actually pretty muddy up here. Hey. Rough. I've had some equipment. Yeah, I had some equipment. This looks fun, dude. Woo! Lit out on these lovely tires. As usual. I'm almost used to it now. Oh, that's the trail. Hee hee! No brakes. Let's go, baby. Hey! Nothing crazy. I guess it's just uh, like a drainage. Yeah. Nothing crazy but fun. And then all one. And then the big rocks. Woo! Wishy washy. That's the end. Ah. Oh, that was fun. Hey guys. We're about done here today. Thanks for watching Digging Deep. Until next time.